Evening. Um, welcome back. It's been a while. Um, work, uh, finishing the therapy and stuff has gotten away. Um, finishing late, but tonight we're back. Um, looking after you tonight, we have the Wood Jedi himself, Mr. Wayne the Woodburner. It's me. It's me. Um, we might be getting someone else shortly. They've just messaged me. Oh, so we'll JP's wait. on his beer. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll uh, we'll wait for JP to pop in as well. Um, what are we doing tonight? So on the lathe, we'll go over to that one quickly. Um, I have a piece of Douglas fir. Got Wayne back in the background for a minute. Yeah, it's now, not me being in the background. That's where I've been. I have never turned this wood before. Um, I purchased it in Air in Scotland on one of my trips up there. Um, it's nine and three quarters uh, in diameter by three inches thick. So that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be doing a bowl out of that. And um, before we do that, let's come back to my ugly face. And um, also tonight, what I want to do um, is I turned a piece of video back in February. Um, it was a tribute piece to my nan. Um, done out of uh, a walnut worktop. Um, it was going to go to a church, um, but I wasn't happy with the way that they give my nana last respects, so they're not getting it. So I gave it away to Douglas Muggan. I'm not sure if Douglas is in. Um, uh, and I haven't Doug seen him yet. No. Oh, he is. He is in. Yes. He is. Douglas is okay. in. Yep. Cool. So I donated it or gave it away to Douglas. And what Douglas would like to do would auction it off for a good cause. Um, and let's try and help someone out. So we're going to do mine. So we're going to auction that off tonight. Um, we'll start that off shortly. But mind is oh, a charity. If, if, we, if we're doing an auction, we'll definitely need Jimmy here. Yeah, <laughs> we need him. So we're going to support mind tonight. Um, mind is a mental health charity in the UK. Um, they do a lot for um, blue light services. They do a lot for civilians. They do a lot for veterans. Um, they're there 24 seven if people need them. Um, the reason I've chosen Mind um, is my wife is currently doing a 118 kilometer um, dog walk. So in the month of June, she has to walk 118 kilometers with the dog. Um, and they've hang on, hang on. Has the, has the dog got any C in this? No, he just gets a little bandana mate that says mind. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the reason they're saying 118 kilometers is in 2021 they answered 118,000 um mental health calls and calls for support. So I have put the link at the top of the chat if you don't want to bid in the auction and you would like to support uh, the cause. It's, I've put the link to my wife's page, um, which is going in the chat. Wait, have you pinned that or have you just put the link? Uh, what I've done is I've put the link, but I'm going to pin it rather than my buy me a coffee. But if anyone buys me a coffee tonight, that will go in there as well. Um, there we go. So it's now pinned to the top yeah. of the chat. There you go. Um, but yeah, buy me a coffee is down in the comments as always. But if anyone wants to buy a comic coffee, that will go in there. Um, obviously, the link's at the top of the chat and we will auction the bowl. Why we are waiting for Jamie, I think we'll start some turning. I'm just going to send him the link again in case. Yeah, I'll, I'll just, um, I'll let you know who's in at the moment. Okay, mate. See how far back this goes. Uh, Colin's in. Doors here. Uh, Robert Hodgepodge and probably Harry as well. Andrew's here. Rob from Copper Owl. Uh, Ward from the west coast of Arizona. How's it going, Ward? Robert Dolman. And it's like magic. Down at the moment. Tony Smith. The auctioneer appears. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. Uh, uh, Woodturn by Barry. Barry Chitty. Uh, JP is obviously here. Malcolm Douglas, Neil M. Bear with me, bear with me. 
Uh, Brian with a Y. James Crawford, Wivy Woodshed, uh, Dave uh, Mewitt, Mr. Craig. Hello, Dave. Hello, Dave. <laughs> Hello, Dave. Oh, shoot. Shane's in. Hi, Shane. Still going down the list. He's, he's gonna keep on going, keep going, <laughs> keep going. Oh, Martin's in. Hi, Martin. Oh, yeah. Hey, is that through, through rain, sleet, or snow, Martin? That's him, Mr. Mailman. Uh, Douglas Mungham, obviously, sorry. because I've already mentioned him. Jennifer's here. Hi, Jennifer. And I think that's about it. If I have missed anybody, I do apologise. Um, make another comment and I'll give you a mention. There you go. Evening, hey, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. How you doing? I'm good. I'm good. I have, uh, as per uh, the, the awesome, extremely awesome, Miss Ruth Niles, uh, as per her request, I made a uh, another goblet bottle opener today. Um, awesome. she seems, to I, made, I made, I made one. Well, the thing, the problem is I, I didn't do a video on the first one. Oh, right. Um, I see. and she, she, she tended to, uh, love it. Um, and I was like, look, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll do a video on the, another one for you. So I've got an, an identical blank. Um, so rather than do another bottle stopper, I did a bottle opener this time. Awesome. So. She was she was she was nice enough to put it on the uh, the best of section of our website. So. Oh, nice! Are they available in the UK yet, Jamie? Uh, pass. Um, I believe they're in, they're in Australia. Uh, I don't think they ever stopped shipping in Australia. I think the pandemic just put a bit of a hold on it uh, briefly. Um, but I think they will be uh, eventually coming to the UK. Um, I think it's, uh, I don't know the exact term, but I can always ask Carl and Robin. Yeah. And kind of see what the deal is. So this is on the a way, very Are they on the way to, um, Chattanooga at the moment? Chattanooga, yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah they're on the, Carl and Robin are on the Easy Wood Tool stand. I actually got a, uh, I got a delivery from Easy Wood Tools this morning. So oh, incre nice. increase, increase, increase my inventory by another three tools. Nice. You're oh, going to need a bigger workshop soon. No, he's not. Uh, he's, he's not going to need a bigger workshop. I'm, going I'm not. I'm, I'm not just going to invite Shug over so he can steal them. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going down for a road trip just to help him empty the workshop out. <laughs> not if I beat your first one. Yeah, it's got to be here in July. I'll be beat you to it. So we're just going to go for a... Hello, oh, Mark's in. Hey, Mark. How are you? Hello, mate. Yeah. Nice, simple shape tonight. And then next week, we will start the a table lamp. you got uh, you got a perfect camera angle for graffiti. You know that, Scott. Have I? Can you see it now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder who visited. <laughs> Was that another pop? Yes, oh, it I'm is. Just gonna, um... Look at that. Hey, you doing? Doing? Hey, well. Well. Yes, how are you all? <laughs> good, good evening, young man. Good, hello, good, man. good, good. Right. Just a flying oh, visit oh, cause between work, but hey, hello. Right, I'll shut up now. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to ask Mark, was it tonight you were doing your demo at uh, Yandel's, Mark? And if so, how did it go? Yeah, I saw all the boxes and that, that he was uh, taking down there. Yeah. Nice. Shouldn't have bothered. Should have just used their stuff. So as I said, pin to the top of the chat is the link for mine. And uh... Oh, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow's doing his demo tomorrow. Uh, Mark's doing his demo tomorrow. Sorry there, uh, Scott. I was That's being right. an interrupter. I was being an interruptopotamus there. A uh, uh, what? A what? Interrupt. 
Can you get a t-shirt for that? Not at the moment. You can get cream for it. Not at the moment. I don't know, but there should be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, talking of cream and um, oh, illness, illnesses and bits. Oh. Um, I visited Keith this afternoon. Um, oh. As we know, he's not been well, um, and that's why he's been missing from his lives. Um, he wanted me to say thank you to everyone that has contacted him um, and sent him messages. Uh, it is giving him a massive morale boost. So thank you everyone that is uh, that has contacted him. Um, mm. We've just got to see how things go um, as to when he will be returning to the tubes. Yeah, yeah. Has he got an ETA or anything like that? No, so he's got more tests to have. Um, but yeah, it's... it's uh, let's see how it goes at the moment, I think. He sounded... He sounded... Um, he sounded quite quite tense and, you know, I mean, worried. So, as we all are when we're waiting for tests. Yeah. Right, Drew Rizal turn has just come in as well. Oh, Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd forgotten how to do this. <laughs> right. At the moment, Scott, we've got 32 people watching. Fantastic. We've got eight thumbs up. Oh, 33 people watching. I'm sure you much of a, right. a lot of people have the opportunity to hit the thumbs up. Yeah, about oh, 25, yeah. I think it is. About that. Oh, yeah. So I'll give you an idea how much of a flying visit this is, Scott. I didn't even manage to work out what you were making. What are you making, Scott? Fruit bowl, mate. Now, oh. I bet you can't get where this bit would come from. I've no idea. Did it come? Did it come from? Did it come from deepest darkest Kent? No, it come from deepest dark. Oh no. Air. Yeah, deepest, from deep, deep, deepest, deepest darkest dark. Ayrshire. Ayrshire. Oh, it's come from Charlie's. Yeah. <laughs> and Chris from Billy Woodworks has just come in. Oh yeah, Chris. Hello, Chris. I think this was uh, the first visit to Charlie's. Yeah, Charlie's is too. Ch Charlie's dangerous. So as anytime, yeah. anytime any of us goes in, <laughs> Jamie went in, suitcase worth of stuff. I go in, box <laughs> of stuff. You go in, two boxes of stuff. It's just mad. <laughs> tell, me, tell me about it. I bankrupted that man. Certainly would. Hey. It's a nice shop, though. Lots of nice... And they're friendly as well, which is what you want in a wood turning shop. I'm he just did let's... If, you still, if you still got the... Um, right, the backstory on this, there was a guy down here a, a lot of years ago, but way back in the 90s, um, did a bit of uh, furniture restoration and stuff like this, and he had an old, a very old Sagar lathe. S-A-G-A-R. Huh? And Charlie actually bought it off him before I got the chance. No idea. No idea. Next time I'm in, I'll ask him. Is that the same company that made the Mega Drive? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I spelled it. <laughs> Does it come with a free Sonic the Hedgehog? <laughs> I was trying to get something with something with speedy Sonic tools or stuff like that. I don't know. <laughs> Do you need to hold down a couple of buttons to get the lathe to spin faster? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you want to stop at the moment, Scott. There's quite a few more people in. If you want to show that ball again. Yes, let's do that. Let's make some money for this uh, awesome charity. Um, let's come back to... Do -do -do. Ugly cam. Ugly I must cam. have missed that. I didn't know it was an auction. You did. Yeah, you did. That's, you know. So... What this is, is this is a piece that I turned um, and did a video in memory of my nan. Um, was going to donate it to the church, but the way they treated her and her, her last time there wasn't impressive. So I gave it away to Douglas Mungham, um, and Douglas would like it to be auctioned off and to raise some money for a good cause. Um, so we're going to choose Mind, um, which is, uh, for those that aren't aware, is a mental health charity. Um, mm -hmm. that support all sorts of people. Um, and the reason I've chosen Mind is my good lady wife is walking 118 kilometres with the dog this month. 
the dog didn't get a choice. Um, so pinned to the top of the chat is a link to her page where you can donate if you want. Always auction this bowl. Um, so if you want to place a bid, um, put your amount in the comments and the lads will keep an eye. And we'll run that for run that for half hour or so. Give people an opportunity and we'll uh, come back and show people. As and that's why we're waiting for Jamie, since old Jamie is the auctioneer. The piece of wood's up on the shelf at the moment. Uh, I don't know where the ball peen hammer is. I'll have, I'll have to use a rubber mallet. That'll do. A rubber mallet and one of my own pieces. Robert from Hodgepodge has said, is asking a question. Scott, are you walking with her? It looks yeah. like you should. Uh, I've done a couple. <laughs> um... I feel sorry for the dog. It wasn't even lost. All right. All right. He gets a nice, pretty blue band banner. If someone tried Charlie. to bring me a bandana or 50 odd miles, I'd tell him to shove the bandana. Uh, <laughs> 500 miles. Um. <laughs> 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 I must be thread now. Scott. Yeah. Yes, mate. So, in terms of the size of the ball, how big is it? And what, so, what, what wood is it? So it wood is it Douglas fir. It's nine and three quarters wide and three inches deep. Cool. Being a soft one, we have got a fair bit of tear out, but. Hey. I've never turned this before. And tonight was all about me coming back and having a laugh and a joke, so. Why well, you go. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you, did you laser the, the bottom of it before, or did you use so, a brand on that? So that's a branding iron on that. So you didn't so get your pecker out? No. Didn't get the pecker out. <laughs> This is what we should have turned last week. However, at Polo, someone decided that we were going to be delayed. So, hence why the, we didn't do a live. Right, let's get this auction started. Let's turn on the extractor. It's getting dusty in here. Oh, Glenn's in. Glenn's in from oh, the chat the Nuga Choo Choo. Hiya, Glenn. Hope you're having fun out there and nice weather. Did you find Dang the train, line. Glenn? Did you find the train? Well, here I'm going to have to. 20 quid from Wayne. Right. Sand in it and I realised I ain't done the bottom. He hasn't done the bottom. I ain't done the bottom. You haven't done the bottom, Scott. No, let's do it now. And oh, sorry, I'll let I'll let uh, Jimmy do the thirty pound five p wide Matt Dow at Maple Tree Studios. Uh, Glenn, he meant the, the 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 train, Six. Glenn, the Chattanooga choo choo. The chatting and the choo choo. <laughs> Do I hear uh, thirty pound and six p, six p, <laughs> or even thirty one? <laughs> we hear all day if we go up by a penny. That's right. This is the first. Let's, let's go up. Let's go. Weeks. Let's go up by. Uh, let's go up by our fivers. Do I hear? Uh, Do I hear Andrew, thirty pound and ten p? <laughs> <laughs> AGK's on £35. Pound. Do I hear £35? Pound and... I don't know. I'm just gonna... Do I hear more than £35? Pound? <laughs> Not only is it going to be a uh, a massive help to the charity, but it will also give Joe a boost. This is, just a, Scots, what, this is uh, just a Scots bottled water on the way. <laughs> At the moment, I think she's only raised thirty pound of a hundred and fifty target. 
But it's not sweet enough. I've got and we have 40 pounds and a penny from Dow at Middle Tree Studios. There we go. I forgot to do my do my bit. Right, that's the one I that's the eight. Glenn. Glenn, have you paid Jeff for giving you a lift yet? Oh. I think I think Jeff should pay Glenn. I've I've met Jeff. Has anyone seen the um forty five pounds from AGK? Has anyone seen what Colwyn Way and uh Nick Agar are driving around in? Oh, yes, I saw that big GMC nah. with the look on the bonnet. <laughs> yeah. £45 from Andrew AGK. He's getting a right collection of stuff he is now, isn't he? Oh, isn't he just? He's going to have to go to a proper mega cabinet built. Yeah, I know, right? He's going to have to convince his missus to have him let him have a new workshop. They, they, I saw that argument at Maker Central. Hang I on, say argument, on. it's Hang more on. of a dispute. Right, Glyn has just said that he spent all day helping Jeff set up his stand. Now, hang on, Glyn. I've been with you setting the stands up. You don't help at all. Supervised. <laughs> I bet he helped. I bet he, I bet he went off and networked. That's what he was doing. He was helping by networking. I'm going to get some shit for that now. Yeah, Andrew, you're still winning, mate. You're still winning. Buy forty five pound. Oh, we got rid of that. Come do it, do we hear fifty? Do we hear fifty? You can always try and outbid yourself, Andrew. <laughs> you can outbid yourself, Andrew. We've seen that before. Come and outbid themselves by over hundred pounds. <laughs> Not that you have to do that, Andrew. Wink wink. That was that was that was Emma and Chris. They're sitting along the couch from each other bidding. <laughs> <laughs> that was a wild go, would it? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Andrew's still winning that at forty-five pound. That sounds like Scott falling over in the shower. <laughs> so we've still got about twenty-three minutes to go. Twenty-three minutes to go. <laughs> I don't fall over in the shower. Do you know why? You slip, yes, you you slip up. <coughs> no, it'd make, a, it'd make a tsunami, wouldn't it? As no, it in the bath. Bath. We have oh, yeah. £50 pound and a penny from Dallas Metal Tree Studios. Let's write this down so I don't lose it. Uh, £50 pound and a penny. You're here, 55, Andrew. It's got to go up by five, or it's got to be 55 and a penny. 55 and a penny, yeah. <laughs> if you're lucky, Andrew, he might put uh, some orange stain on it for you. If you got, you got to make sure you win the bid, though. And uh, Andrew, you've got 55 and a penny. Well done. Even though you yeah, put 55 there, much. you put that, you forgot your penny. <laughs> oh, he's added it on. He's included and a penny. And a penny. And Robert and Hodge, and Hodge has got himself a new chuck. He's, um, <laughs> he's switching over to a Vic Mark chuck. Nice. Mm. AGK 55 and a penny. Do I hear 60, 60 and a penny? Andrew, you can always outbid yourself. <laughs> Can't can't leave it on an odd number, Andrew. Just saying. Okay, what, what do people think? Grit and wax or oiled? Grit and wax. Got to be able to sing the song. Why in the wood turner's got sixty pounds and a penny? Blah, 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 blah. W T W Glinton. Yeah, we got a sixty pound and a penny. Andrew, you're up. Wayne's out, bid you. <laughs> no. 
Ashley's not in, is she? No, she's nope. not in, no. That's right. <coughs> she'll, be, she'll be at work. Getting the sand and sealer out. What's that do, Scott? It hardens the, uh, the grain up, mate. He's not watched your life for a long to... time, has he, Scott? <laughs> has he ever waned? It's a conversation starter. <laughs> oh, AGK's gone up to £65 and 2p. <laughs> <laughs> right, there's that. Um, bum, ba -dum, ba -dum. 20 crit. minutes to go. We've got 20 minutes to go. 20 minutes to go. So, 26 minutes past the hour. Uh, Dale's gone to £70 and 3p. <laughs> <laughs> They're going to look at this when the uh, money goes into the charity and go, Why are your pennies, weirdos? Do you know, Jason, if conversation this, starter. Do you know, if, that's saying, if this community does do well, is support good causes? Oh, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Uh, Douglas Mungle says, uh, does that make it go hard? That's a bit personal, Douglas. <laughs> yeah, it might not, but thinking about it, mate. Your, your <laughs> pies do. <laughs> oh, I've still got one in the freezer. Do we, do we hear £75 and 4p from uh, Andrew? I'm kind of picking on Andrew now. <laughs> or Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Or are we, we going to, have we got a secret bidder sitting there right at the end going to gazump everyone? <laughs> Never know. Well, to Never tell know. you the truth, we're up, we're up to £70. Let, let's see if that's... we can get up to at least 100 anyway. That's yeah, there you go. Fantastic, man. So, I've applied the Yorkshire grit with the uh, piece stationery, or the lab off. So now we're just going to work it in, lab on its slowest. And David's in from Webfoot, Webfoot Resin and Wood Creations. Evening, David. How are you doing, Mr. Eisenhower? Uh, AGK's for £80. He's gone back down to even Stevens now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and Anita's just come in. Good evening, Anita. Oh, yeah. Hello, Anita. Uh, 80 pound. Oh, let's get a fresh piece of paper. Or at least use both sides. Eighty pound. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody hold their bids a minute. I need to find a gavel. Oh, no, I've got one. That'll do. Uh, oh, he's off again. Uh, I found it. Oh, I found a hammer. Anyway, a hammer. I'm, gonna use the, I'm not going to use the. Uh, I'm not going to use the axe. I'm going to use his rubber mallet. It's not axe, an MC that, hammer, is that's it? Shapes, that is. That that mallet is used for when uh, when. Oh, I was about to swear then. I've just cracked this oh, pole um, up. Oh, uh, hold on. Oh. Can, can you stop a minute, Scott? And need yep. asking what, what we're bidding on. Yep. Let's do it. Ugly can. There we go. So we're bidding on buying Scott a kilt. Oh, yes. There we go. So it's oh, a... Uh, I love the kilt, did you? <laughs> it, it was a piece of walnut worktop. Um, it's been turned into a platter. Um, was done in memory of my nan. Um, and we're going to raffle auction it off as Douglas wishes for a good course. So if, we, uh, if we bid over 100, do we get a bog off? Do we get that one and the one you're turning just now for free? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> <laughs> hey. At the moment, it's at uh, 80... What are we doing? Pounds or dollars? It's at 80. Pounds. It's at 80 pounds, uh, pounds. at the moment. Blah, 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 blah. All, all I can say is those that are going to the barbecue this weekend, you might want to take some blindfolds because... Uh, oh, you haven't. You, you did, didn't you? You did buy a kilt. 
Oh, it should God. be. It, apparently, the belt's been delivered to your house today, and the kilt should be delivered tomorrow. God help us. Uh, Amazon, Amazon Prime do uh, Prime do try before you buy. I feel the worst win. Glenn says Jamie Robin <laughs> yeah, will be here right. in a couple of hours. Just saying, that's all right. You know, you know how we could raise some more money. It's paying me to keep my trousers on. <laughs> no, you wear your kilt. I'll laugh anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I read it might be warm. You know, I'm just thinking. No, it's not. It's that. not going to be warm. It's going to be windy. It's not. Yes. Going to be warm. <laughs> it's going to be. It's going to be. As we say, I mean, I don't know if it translates, but I'll be bochanking. Um. If it, yeah. if it, if it's windy, I might end like that mum at the sports day. Did you see that? In the mum well, race. Well, no, but what I have is a vision of as kind of a kind of rotund version of Marilyn Monroe in that famous picture. <laughs> it's kind of what I've got going on. So there, there was a mum at a um, at a school race doing the mum's race this week, and uh, whilst doing it, she face planted the ground. And mooned everyone. Lovely. With your track record of uh, falling ass over tits, God, do you that's a good idea? It's, uh, a real, it's, a well, it's a point well made. <laughs> Douglas Mungham is asking, Scott, underwear? Uh, the no, thing, the thing is, the, the th- no, the thing is, Douglas, it, it'll be it'll be an upkilt with a magnifying glass to see anything. Oh, there's a bit of sick just come up. My, there's a bit of sick just come up my throat right there. <laughs> right, boys, I'm gonna have to love. I'm gonna have to lovely and leave you and run back to work. It was good to speak to everyone. Cheers, Keep well, easy, everyone. Man. Cheers, gentlemen. Bye bye. Take it easy. See you tomorrow. Um. Yeah. No. Have we I'm said not... that though to Dave's creative metal work. We have Mr. Mewitt. All right, okay. Yes, just wanted, to double yeah. check. just wanted to double My check. search wife. Uh, right, so we are on uh, £80 still at the moment with uh, AGK, Andrew. Mike Crystalline Wax. Uh, let's see if there's any more coming in. Throw that over there. Seems weird. Anita says, is shipping included? Yes, I will pay shipping anywhere. There you go, Anita. Scott will pay shipping. Because I'm good like that. And I think everyone should have the opportunity. Like they have the opportunity to hit the thumbs up because it's free and doesn't cost anything. The same as making comments after, yeah, after exactly the race finished. Is that the same as that, Wayne? So, yeah. At the moment, uh, how much have we got? Uh, 14 people have the opportunity to hit that thumbs up because it's free and it doesn't uh, cost just anything. Remember, yeah, just remember, guys, if you don't want to bid on the ball... At the top of the chat, there is a link to uh, Joe, um, Scott's good lady. Uh, there's a link to her Facebook page where you can make a donation to Mind. She's got to be a good lady poking up with me. However, I was, the boy is in. I was in the doghouse with her earlier on. Because she come home from work expecting to eat the last bit of biscotti cheesecake. And it wasn't in the fridge. It wasn't. It was in your belly. Yeah. Oh, I thought you'd been cook. I thought you'd been cooking the leg up the sofa again. No. She started punishing me doing that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I made a biscotti cheesecake on Tuesday before work. They've been eating it while I'm at work, and I come home and I went, Do you know what? I had biscotti cheesecake for breakfast. 
before I went to bed at 10 o'clock, and then I had some more when I woke up. So we'll just take the faceplate ring off. Well, all right. And Dave said you're always in the doghouse. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I should call the new workshop when I build it. The kennel. The kennel. Good call. Yeah. Well, I'm always you in it. You, you could change you two now. Name as well. Spike. <laughs> That's my boy. See? That's my boy. <laughs> No, that was the chicken. Oh, no, it? it wasn't. So it was Snoopy, wasn't it? The uh... yeah, the, that was also a female. So yeah, it's, oh, it's a sweep you're talking about. Yeah, no, so he was a bear. Right, at the moment we're sitting on £80 in the auction and we've got around about eight minutes left. Just that tall light. Ward Wilson has just come in with Snoopy's brother was named Spike and lived in Needles, California, where he worked. Is that Ward Wilson from the west coast of Arizona? It is. That's Ward Wilson from the west coast of Arizona. Well, hello there, Ward Wilson from the west coast of Arizona. We'd like Ward Wilson from the West nah. Coast Arizona. <clears throat> I don't feel confident enough for that one. That was my little bulge. Oh, my right. little bulge. I a six little quarter inch one. <laughs> a quarter inch and a bit more, mate. <laughs> I'll go back to me old faithful. So we know Glenn's out in uh, Chattanooga. Anyone else going this for the event? Well, Helen Bailey's out there. They're working on the Ashminster stand. Uh, Russell Clark is out there as well. Um, with a very, very camp. I think he, he hired a Jeep and it's very, very camp. Green with Jeep that he hired. <laughs> Which he's not very happy about. Um... I don't know of um, any others from the UK that are, that are actually going to it. Oh, Colin Weir, he's going to be there, along with um, Nick Eagar. Yeah, he's Obviously out there. Obviously, Robin, yeah, Robin and, and Carl are going to be there. Who? Robin and Clive, sorry. There you go. <laughs> Have a bit more speed. Oh, Shane's going. He's going to be there tomorrow. Uh, Robert's hopefully going to make it to the one next year. Yeah, Roy. Uh, Roy saying that Colin and Nick Agar are on the road trip. Yeah, they are. That's yeah. all I do have you on. I hope they've got sponsorship for the fuel costs. Because I don't fancy well, the... pan a few. I don't fancy pan a few bill for that. 
I know Axminster the tools that obviously is going to be there because Helen's going to be there. Um, I believe Robert Sorby um, is going to be there as well. From from over here. Um, Scott Hampton, who has done a couple of the a couple of few virtual crafties now, I think he's going yeah, to be yeah, yeah. Roy's asking what wood it is. It's uh, Douglas fir, Roy. Smells really nice. Really soft. Really soft. I made some mess. Uh, Andrew said, sorry, had to nip, nip off and cook his own tea tonight. He's still, am I still winning and how long is left? Yes, no, you Andrew, you're not. No, no, Andrew, you're not. The bid's at eighty pound, though. All right, so you got to try and outbid eighty pound. <laughs> and you have got three minutes, Andrew, to do that. How That's long we got to go, Jamie? Else. You three you minutes. got three minutes. Three minutes left to go. You got three minutes left to go. The bid's eighty pound, uh, and you got you got that long to outbid it, Andrew. There's loads of meat still there. <laughs> Are you sure, Andrew? Are you sure that's your bid? No, I don't. I don't think it is, Andrew. Nah, no, I don't think it is. Oh, Roy's the boy who's asking what the auction's for. Hey, up. Just, just, just to double check, Andrew. You better bid again. I've just realised everyone can see my knobbly knees. So the auction is for um, a walnut platter um, that was turned in memory of my nan when she passed away. Um, rather than go to church, I gave it to Douglas Mungham, and Douglas would like it to be auctioned off to raise money for a good cause. Um, so we're going to support Mind, uh, which is a mental health charity in the UK. Right. Um, Anita is ask, asking, how does pounds translate to American dollars? The, the just about equal at the moment, to tell you the truth. And, and how does yeah, somebody pay? For 81 um, pay, pence, it's $1. Um, so payment will be through the link at the top, the Facebook link there. And then uh, whoever the winning bidder is, if they just PM me their address, then I'll get it shipped off to them. And Andrew has just bid £85 just for Scott. Not only that, but he's outbid himself. So, well done for uh, doing that, Andrew. What do you like, I think Jamie? he realised that. So, yeah. No, I, I'm not ashamed. I've used mine. Uh, right, yeah, so at, Robert... the, at the moment, let me just quickly have a look. So, at the yeah. moment, in dollars, it's sitting on $104.29 going by Google, what Google says. Okay. Because Robert's just put in that eighty pounds, although he's, he's done the pounds wrong, he's put eighty pounds is ninety eight dollars and fifteen cents. Yeah, I'm I'm using what uh, Google says, so we hopefully yeah. probably using a, a proper website. I don't know how out of date. When was this last updated? 23rd of June, this was last updated. Today. Today. Yeah. So Anita, Anita Ball has just put in £86. 
86. Oh, sorry, Jamie. I'm, I took your thingy there. That's all right, mate. And he's running a bit of 86 pounds. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> We've just gone over the, the time, but I'm not bothered, so we're going to carry on until Scott finishes. Yeah? Yeah, I'm not bothered. Yeah, keep going until we come to the end. Let's see if we can get it over £100. If not, we've already done fantastic, we'll get it over $100. Yeah, if, if we yeah. get it over £100, Scott is going to donate this ball that he is turning at the moment as well. They get it over a hundred pounds, you get two bowls for the price of one. That's got a hundred pound in weight. AGK's ninety pound. Ooh. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's not a hundred pound in weight. Uh, I've flown it back from Scotland in my suitcase. Andrew, I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying, another ten pounds, you get an extra bowl. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's like, like a two for one. You know, <laughs> for, for, just for another tenner. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge, wink, wink. Oh, hang on. Just saying, just saying. I can't even see. Uh, Roy's talking about postage to the USA. Yeah, Roy. It all depends on who you go through. Yeah, I normally use a company called Parcel today. Um, that's that's who I tend to use as well, to tell you the truth. You yeah. get a choice on Parcel to go. Yeah. And I need a book. Oh, sorry, Jamie, come on. No, I'm going to wait until it comes up. And I've just had a scroll saw piece that I did ages ago of Lethal Weapon pop up. If you look back at your memories, <laughs> right in the middle of it. <laughs> Anita says £100. Oh, thank you, Anita. One hundred dot zero zero. Blah, 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 blah. AGK uh, says he's trying to keep it entertaining. Oh, another bid would certainly keep it entertaining. One oh five. One oh five. All right. And Robert Hodge says, "Well, maybe five Robert said, "Well, maybe a ball in the funnel, Scott. Try and make it thin to save on postage." <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, maybe, maybe a funnel. No, Roy. I I use I use parcel to go. They they give you very option various options on parcel to go for uh, postage to the states and the UK. Oh, and it is put one oh six. It's a bit more. That's what I like to see. So whoever wins, <laughs> it, I'll be shipping it. Uh, it'll probably be Thursday next week. Uh, I'm off to Dale's tomorrow, uh, and then when I come back, I'm in work. So rule of, first... rule of, th rule of thumb, Scott. Shipping's on Tuesdays. If someone wants to cover my shift, you no, know, I'll cover your shift, Scott. I couldn't do any fucking work. <laughs> I I do hate the uh, three o'clock getting up. Ooh, Wayne, <laughs> being Croydon for six o'clock. <laughs> what time would you have to leave? He wouldn't hear a copy of you. <laughs> hey, mate, look. I'm a good boy now. <laughs> oh, sorry, Scott. Need, need to be done, though. <laughs> it did. Right. <laughs> and he has got a bit at 106. Since that's practically round still, you can go faster than that, can't you? Or will I'm it still bounce it. around the bench? Yeah, I'm using this big AGK's old... AGK's uh... gone 10601. That's a radio <laughs> station. If yeah. it had gone at like 106.2, it would have been hot. Yeah. yeah D Douglas has just put in... This is now two balls you've been for. Yeah. 
Yeah, I've been into two bowls now. I mean, you're good, mate. You're good just for the one. I think AGK pulled a fast one because it's supposed to be going up in a five by a fiver. Yeah, I know. But who it's okay. all a bit of fun. Who cares? Right, it's it is now with... right. Over here in the UK, it is twenty fifty one. Um, I, uh, if Scott agrees, I'm going to stop this bidding at twenty fifty five. I agree, mate. Cool. You guys are looking after. Cool. It. I won't be finished by then, but. Yeah, I know. Alexa, set alarm for four minutes. There you go, four minutes a lot is set. That wasn't four minute warning, was it? No, I was here to get a copyright strike. Oh, good. Good. Oh he's probably gonna it's probably gonna be uh fifty six now. Because it just turned uh as it's set it was just what you call it? It Not floats over me. the time. <sighs> Got a bit of a catch there, but that's still one hundred six oh one for AGK. Right, um, I need to pull some um, eyes up faces there. And Andy has said, if you want them, Anita, you can have them, and Andrew will just pop a donation in. Now, I'm not sure... OK, Robert's asking a question here. Yeah. With Douglas fur being soft, is the carbide leaving behind a lot of torn green? Now, is that a yes. carbide or is that high-speed high steel? No, so that it was a carbide. Can I ask, is it an easy wood carbide? No, it's not. No, no. it's a it's a David Lloyd tools. Uh, one that was given to me by Dale. Um, and he called it a bowl buster. And it is. It, it um, is. You've got to be was, really was, careful with it. I was certain that was high speed steel. So can can I just uh, say I know a lot of people are probably going to think I'm uh, being a little bit on the. Uh, you're just only saying that because you're supported by Easy Wood Tools. Yes and no, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, just because it says carbide on the packet doesn't mean to say it's a quality tip. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's be brave. So, um, oh, I was very... some small ones. You sure? Oh, yeah, I am certain. Oh, right. on. We won't. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back 1p. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and uh, Anita's going to take them. And Andrew is just going to put a say donation in. Excellent. Brilliant. All right, okay, so we're, 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 we're stopped the bit. We're stopped the bid in at £106. And Anita can take the uh, yeah. take the pig. So yeah. let's stop it there. I'm going to whack the gavel. And there you go. Nice. Anita's won it. Nice one, Anita. Brilliant. Thank you so much. That's going to not only make a difference to the charity, um, but when I tell someone indoors, she'll be well happy. Good. Well happy. So, yeah, payment through the link at the top. Is that the um, dog you want to tell? No. <laughs> He'll go in and go, wait, Dad, I want a steak for that. <laughs> He'll think of the tea bags, on. Dad. <laughs> He'll, He'll, He'll turn around and say, Do, does that mean you know, don't have the walker for? <laughs> no, he'll turn around and go, does that mean you're coming out for some of the walk as well, Dad? <laughs> Do you know, I reckon I should go out for some of the walk wearing the kilt. What do you reckon? Yeah, do it. My Keep mate, the then walk the past us. And then come back and uh, remove some of the ticks. Because there's long old grass over there in a minute. Oh, that could be painful. 
All I can do, all I can imagine now is you laying on your back with your legs up in the air, like, being held up like a baby. <laughs> Alexa, oh yeah, I was I was about to say, don't wear the bloody kilt then. <laughs> Joe's holding both your legs with one hand and talking your ass. <laughs> We're a pair of tweezers taking the ticks off. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Sam, I please, no. <laughs> no. Dave, 10th of September. I'm going to wear it just for you, mate. <laughs> and get thrown out of the social club at the same time. Anita says, thank you. Not a problem. Anita, uh, PM me your address and I will get them um, uh, both in the post queue next week. Oh, the, now Andrew has just come in and said, you're welcome, Anita. Scott, I'll send the same over. So he, he's going to send um, £106 over as well. Good cause, mate. That's what he said. Nice, mate. Thank you very much. I always said that Andrew's good people. Yeah. Andrew, so I will find something and I will send... I'll tell you what, actually. I know what I'll send, Andrew. I've got to finish it. Um, but if you remember the last, it might have been my last live. I did the wall art. I just need to finish the edge in the back, but I'll do that and I'll send that to you, Andrew. And I will make you a Saturday morning cartoons pen, Andrew. And when there I send it out go. with your vase as well. There we go. So I have swapped to a scraper now, um, just because I want a fairly flattish bottom. But because I've put a curve on the bow, I'm just trying to get that bit in as well. Is that other uh, Colin's just put in there respect Andrew yep definitely totally agree mm -hmm. yeah. let's see if I get this in there oh that screen's gone having a funny one eh? hashtag SMC lads <laughs> don't want it in that handle so i'm just swapping over now this is the uh simon hope just so i can get that curve in there And Andrew said, uh, thank you. You didn't have to do that. I very much appreciate it. No, we do. You're... You've supported us, Andrew, so it's only fair. Oh, he has. He has. Big time. Yeah. It's a shame I haven't got one with an orange background. Let's see if I can... I wonder if I can get one first. Do you know what, Andrew? It's actually going to give me a kick up the backside to finish it. I want to see what stuff of Wayne's my mum's got lying around in the front room and thought I could send you. Wayne could stop gloating then. <laughs> uh, in Jennifer has just said congratulations to both Anita and Andrew. I've got to be honest, I'm really, really looking forward to uh, Wayne's video Sunday. To tell you the truth, so am I. Oh, and uh, the while he's here, can I just say a big thank you to to Jamie because um, yeah, mate. I wouldn't say that a... yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, I am anyway. Um, there was a bit going on. Obviously, we've been getting ready for 
run up the deals tomorrow, so I didn't get a video done. And Jamie has jumped in and uh, downloaded one of my uh, live uh, videos and is editing it for Sunday Night Premiere. And he's putting his music in. Oh my life! Oh, that's not I what was going to say. What music are we having? <laughs> that's not what I'm putting in there. Oh dear me! Oh dear! We're going to have a wine dancing. Yeah, right, going right across the screen. There might even be a Jurgen man in there somewhere. <laughs> you know, you think something's going to look really nice in you. Yeah, I'll do that. And then it's a pig to turn. Yeah. <laughs> Douglas says, JP, you have all your stash. Yeah, but they're up in the loft and I can't be able to go out there and get them. Oh, Doug, Doug's in. Doug Miller's in. Uh, he's uh, sorry he is very late. Not a problem. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you to everyone who's coming. How are you doing? What time are you doing live tomorrow, Jimmy? Uh, one o'clock. That's your normal oh, time, isn't it? Yeah, that's my normal time. I need to, um, uh, I need to set that I'll, up, actually. I think I've Do told you... everybody, uh, obviously I'm going up to, to deals for the weekend tomorrow. Um, mm -hmm. So is Scott, so is Shug and various other people. Um, yep. So Jamie is kindly stepping in and covering my live tomorrow lunchtime at 1pm. There you go. Cool. And thanks for that. You, Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. AGK, you working tomorrow? So if you want to worm, you, if, you, if you're not, you're earworming. Oh, you I thought you'd be up at uh, Dale's tomorrow. Yeah, I'll put in the Wi-Fi around the outside, mate. <laughs> I'll oh, see right. the garden do it. Might be off my phone, but... I don't know if I'll be back, because I'm going to pick um, Justin up from Edinburgh Airport. Oh, the airport, about, yeah. yeah. Yeah, around about that time. What time's Justin due in? I think around about 20 past 12. Well, the, the thing is, is that there, there's a big event on at Ingleston tomorrow, which is right next door to Edinburgh Airport. It's the Royal Highland Show that's on this weekend, so traffic is going to be horrendous. All right, Andrew. Just don't drive in any bus lane, Twain. Anita says you just clicked on the link and sent the payment. Fantastic. Thank you very Thank much, you. Anita. Is anyone bored of watching me hollow this bowl yet? Nope. Or happy nope. for me to carry on? Oh, yeah, you carry on, sunshine. We're okay. Right, let's play. Let's play the Ashley game. All right. So we've already done. We've already done one where we've, uh, we've picked on Scott. So now we've got to do one and say you've got to write in the chat everything you like about Scott. There you go. And nothing is not an answer. Well, that's one way of shutting up a chat. I can't see the chat now. My screen by the uh, lives had a funny five. There you go. I'll put the first one in, Jamie. A big heart. There we go. Oh, thank you. Why has it done that? Go back onto that screen. Dave yeah. says nothing is an answer. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anita, uh, either by Facebook, the Blue Light Turner. Um, you can email uh, the Blue Light Turner at gmail.com. Or you can go to uh, Anita. I'll, I'll sort him out your address. Yeah, or I'll get, um, I'll get it off Jamie. Doug Miller has put his honesty. Uh, Rob has put his attitude. Um, Hodgepodge has put. Um, I don't know if that's supposed to be seeing people fall as all the humans. Douglas has put a uh, great guy and willing to help anyone. Um, Ward is put, I don't know, but I like your shirt. 
<laughs> this is last year's because I haven't brought this year's yet. Uh, Roy has said uh, his internet went off for 15 minutes. What did you miss? Go back and watch it, Roy. Yeah. Search bar, Roy. Search bar. Uh, David said, hard of gold and willing to help anyone out. Uh, Colin has said, character and sense of humour. Uh, that that t shirt still available, Scott. It's over on Jake's uh, link in the store. And, uh, for people, and then I got knocked at the, the door. And, you know, go on, mate. Oh, I yeah, yeah. Quiet, and then I got a knock at the door, and that's all like, I took my money. So, but I will be um, able to pay date. So, for people that don't know what Scott's talking about, um, every year I do a community t shirt. Um, and this year we uh, raised funny and less. Raise funny, raise money in uh, in six days, and managed to get enough money to get uh, Connie, which is uh, uh, someone from Saturday Morning Cartoons, uh, two brand new uh, pressure pots. Um, so she doesn't didn't have to use the death trap she was using. Yeah, for those so, of you who haven't seen the T-shirt, when Scott finishes following the ball and brings us back in, I'm wearing my T-shirt this evening, so I'll be able to show you it. Anita is saying, have you, if you've got stickers, can you put them, uh, can she get one to put in a pressure pot? Oh, I'll put my stickers in, not a problem. You might get more than the bowls, because what I tend to do, Connie, is I get a box, put the bits in there, I need to go in you there. You mean Anita? Anita. Oh, no, no, yeah. can, I, can I just let Anita know? Just, just <laughs> now, okay. Here we go, here we go, I knew this was coming. Anita, Anita when your parcel arrives, Make sure you've got three exceptionally sharp knives and three hours to spare to open the package. And don't do it in a room you like keeping clean. Because something I don't like about Scott is his packing ability. Oh dear me, it's something else. Hey. It arrived safe, didn't it? Yeah, so did the box of sawdust. Yeah, there's just loads of terror in there. Oh. Not mind you, you're not the only one that does that. I don't use sawdust, I use packing nuggets. You could have packed it with some bell or something like that. Mate, if I had a bit of bell. I've got a couple of nice pieces. The only bit of burl I ever had was a bit of oak burl. <laughs> and I gave it away. And Nita said her husband can sharpen a knife, so she always has a sharp knife. Yeah, you there you go. It. Colin says his, uh, his character, oh no, wrong one. His logo, uh, it was a pain to engrave. Are you trying to get a tattoo of it, Colin? I'll tell you what else yeah. we need to do, guys, tonight, quickly. Yeah. So, you may remember going back 18 months, two years ago, we did some fundraising for a little girl called Lily um, that needed an upsy for walking and bits and pieces like that. Um, Dave, that's in the chat, is Lily's granddad. Um, and Lily's, oh, huh? Lily's not very well at the moment, so can we fill the chat with purple hearts for Lily? Let's send us some love. Yeah. Uh, Andrew has said, sorry, he was just sending the payment over. All done now. So that's uh, two cool. payments you've had put in tonight. So got... Thank you very much. She's going to have a heart attack. I'm going to end up at the hospital. Well, make sure you tell her when you drop her off at the hospital that so you'll be back on Monday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you stay there, and get your heart fixed. I'm going away for the weekend. So, yeah. Right. There we go. Now, I think 
the rest is going to be done with sandpaper. That little bit of tear out there, a little bit there. Yeah. Why not? Let's get a new bit of 80 grip. My five year van's just arriving in my street. You're playing that tune though, so I reckon he's run out, don't you? Yeah, that's it. That's what me yeah. mum always used to tell me anyway. That's what my mum used to tell me. If he's playing the music, he's run out. Yeah, if the ice cream man comes around and there's music playing, he's run out of ice cream, so he can't have any. Andrew's just said his second community shirt arrived today in red. I think he's trying to say there wasn't an orange option. Oh, man. Oh. I'll tell you what else we'd do as well. Um, down in the descriptions is the link to my Teesprings. If anyone hasn't got one of my merch and wants some, um, any money from them that are purchased over the next month will go to mine as well. Um. There are a lot of people who are aware that I've been battling PTSD for the last, I don't know how long, since a not particularly nice job at work. Um, and there was a point that if it hadn't have been for mine, there wouldn't be any more blue light turn the lives. So, yeah, that's why it's close to me. <laughs> My chat. Andrew's seen he's got fat fingers. He's got fat fingers. Um, what's going on with my yeah, because he made a small mistake. Uh, I can't spell, and I've got two teach uh, two daughters that are teachers. Outrageous, isn't it? Right, Dave's just put in a, a thank you guys. It really means a lot. Just told the wife what has happened uh, with all the purple hearts and stuff, and she is now in tears. Julie, pull yourself together, love. Yeah, make like a pair of curtains. <laughs> Julie's awesome. Not as awesome as me, but Julie's awesome. I don't know what's happening, but every time somebody puts in loads of purple hearts, um, I keep on getting asked to approve it. Yeah, I, I approved a couple YouTube, of them. Because they're not for Connie. Well, they could be, that could be it, eh? Right? Connie, Connie's there reporting everybody. <laughs> they're nicking my hearts. I'm sure Connie wouldn't mind. Nah. Yeah, Robert. Yeah, I guess so. Um, Anita is asking when you get time. Uh, probably after you finish doing your sand and 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 everything like that. Can you show the auction piece again? Uh, I because will do. her husband, her husband wants to see what he's just bought. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You could buy that from uh, the Walnut Log yeah, in yeah. Um, in in the states, and there's another place in America, uh, in America, in Texas, in in the, in the great country of Texas. What's that? What are you talking about now, Jamie? Yorkshire grit. Yeah, Yorkshire grit can be bought from the 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 Walnut Log that is run by Jeff Hornung. It can also be bought. I think it's called the Wood Shop in Texas. And if you're in Canada. It can be bought through uh, Rob Summerlin. Yeah. And I, I can't remember. Woods, his... Woodsley Summercraft. Wood, yeah, Woodsley Summercraft. That's it. I've got that as a tattoo Wood on my leg. So Texas. I edit. Uh, Ro Robert's just corrected me there. Thank you, Robert. Woodworld of Texas. We're getting there. 
I've got Woodley Summercraft's uh, logo tattooed on my leg, so I don't forget what it's called. That's commitment. When are you getting mine? And Wayne's? No? Well, yeah, he hasn't got enough uh, room on his leg for yours, because you're that big, Scott. Yeah. I could get a blue light. Wh whoops, I picked again. <laughs> Inside voice, outside voice. Inside blue light voice or Mr. Bump? Yeah. I might go and get a different colour uh, uh, heart for all the different uh, Saturday morning cartoons, girls. We're nearly you there, see, peoples. You see, my logo with the um, the water drop ball is a bitch for anybody to do. So, if anybody's wanting to do mine, just do your jerking, man. Or mint. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, I could just get mint written on my leg, couldn't I? Yeah, you could, yeah. Mint. I've got cacao written on my leg. There you go. If anyone's going to go to Chattanooga and uh, they happen to see Carl and Robin, don't say anything. Just go to them and go cacao and walk away. <laughs> they will know. They, they will know what, what you're talking about. No, no, go. You've been talking that bloody Jamie again. Yeah, Just Doug, Doug go, Miller's, cacao. Yeah, Doug Miller's put another option in for, for me. It could be champion. Champion. Yeah, we know we need her. We know. I can't get... Actually, I probably could get glitter, actually. You can get, like, UV, you can get like UV colours, can't you, that glow under uh, UV light. Yeah, Robert's put in... I think Harry Beaver would make a lot of sense on your leg. Do you know what? I was going to get a beaver at one point. Because that's... I think that's the... Is it the Oregon State Animal? Probably. Uh, Doug it was, was going to be a because I went on a trip from Texas to Oregon. I was going to get a beaver wearing a cowboy hat and holding holding an Easy Wood tools tool. Here's here's a good one from from Doug. If you meet Carl at uh, Chattanooga, either do the cacao thing or call him Clive. Yeah, call him <laughs> Clive. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never going to live that down, am I? Oh no, definitely not, Sunshine. Definitely not. Or go, or is is another good one. Go to him and just say hashtag just add water. <laughs> yeah, Jennifer saying it was uh, her heart that kept on disappearing from the chat. Yeah, we sort that though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I stopped blocking them. <laughs> I'm kidding. I have to get in there with a coarser grip. Oh, don't right. worry about this, Scott. Oh, Jake's just arrived. Good evening, Jake. 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 Yeah. So, Douglas uh, fur does give you a lot of tear out. I've learned that tonight. Yeah, that's because it's a softwood. But I've never turned it. So you don't know unless you have a go, do you? Actually, let's put that in reverse. He says he's alright. Yeah, he's alright. Right. Doop a doop a doop. What do I want? Bit of towel. Someone's nicked my meths. Where they put it? Jake says, JP! Actually, where is it? Um... Jake's in the chat. Hang on, hang on. I can do that now. <laughs> there you go. Wayne, you're letting the side down, mate. I send all the ones I had to Jake. Wayne, I'll bring you one up tomorrow, mate. I've got a pack of 20 of them. And Jake has said he has just finished Anita's bottle opener. 
Nice one, Jake. There was an auction going on tonight, and Anita won the auction. Why is Douglas saying it's not my fault, Scott? I don't know. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't pay attention to him. You should do. I'm just no. kidding, Doug. <laughs> no, the only time I pay attention to Douglas is when a pie arrives through the door. <laughs> yeah, but that's not only when he intentionally goes to send something else. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that was that was absolutely that was mint. That really was mint. That was. Um, See, I never know whether I was meant to receive two pies like I did, or whether well, I should have received one and he should have done. A couple, a couple of months ago, a couple of few months ago now, um, Douglas asked for asked, asked for my uh, address because uh, he was sending us something, and what arrived was a breakfast pack. There was some sausage in there, some lawn sausage, which is popular in Scotland, and some other stuff in there. I thought, oh, that's brilliant. And then I got a message from Douglas saying. Did you get a parcel today? I said, yes, Douglas, thank you very much. He says, you got the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> this oh, was appara- something that... Apparently he said Douglas is soft. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh-huh. The, the, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So there's been a mix-up in the delivery, and I, I ended up getting the breakfast pack, which Douglas had ordered for himself, and he was supposed to be sending me a pie. So he sent me a pie anyway. And that was that was the start of something beautiful because I got one as well. Yeah. Then he was going to send me another one. And I was like, dude, no, nah, nah, nah. share it, share it out. And Shug got one. Yeah. So Shug, Shug got the other one he was going to send me. And then you got, got one. Two. Or two, sorry. Douglas is another one of the good guys. Yeah. 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 I do really want to take because it ain't that far from me, Essex. I'd like to take a trip up and meet Douglas in person. Yeah. Maybe a detour via a, a Mr. Page. There you go. Okay, our good friend Ward Wilson from the west coast of Arizona is in the chat. We like Ward Wilson from the west coast of Arizona. He's good people. So that was your chagrin. Should you put a paper towel holder on the ceiling? That'll be one of the new changes in the new workshop. Colin says, happened to me when I ordered my laser engraver. Got a box of jumpers. Maybe I didn't trust you with a laser. <laughs> what was it we had delivered? Ordered a load of bits from Screwfix or something. And a pair of trainers come in there, but they were like female trainers, not even safety ones. It was like, okay. I tell you what, you're talking about funny deliveries. Has anyone ever ordered anything from Wish? Yep. <laughs> yep, I have. <laughs> right, so I, I bought what I thought um, I was buying Vicky a like a, a 150 piece art set one day, right? What actually turned up was a single pencil. Oh, dear me. Oh, yeah, the, and then the, she, the, she, wanted, she wanted some glitter pencil, uh, glitter pens, sorry. Right? What turned up was the, the inserts, like re- the refills to said uh, glitter pens. I think the last thing I ordered from Wish was a set of five airbrushes. And this was a, oh, a good couple of few years back. And... They seem to have cocked up my first order, so I ended up getting two sets of five airbrushes. Yeah. Oh, dear. I remember I bought, like, a... Uh, I think it was, like, a 99-piece drill, drill bit set or something like that. Um, I got it. It was, like, a pound or something like that. And uh, I was like, well, that'll come in handy at some point, even if they're cheap. But like, use them a couple of times, that'd be, they'd be perfect. Even if they go, uh, even if they go dull, and um, so when they when they turn bits. up, I was no, no, no. I've got a hundred or ninety nine drill bits, but they're like all the size of like that fit inside your Dremel. <laughs> yeah, they're like all, all minute sizes, and I was like, well, it's lucky I use the uh, scroll saw. Do you know what I mean? 
Yeah, they were all one mil or something, weren't they? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So I deal for scroll saw, isn't it? Yeah. Roy says, JP, you need to know Chinese. I do when I'm ordering food. <laughs> Do you know what? I need to get on my scroll saw again. I haven't done that for a long time. No, I haven't. This is the first tanning I've done in over a month. Oh, Vicky's here. Oh, have you already mentioned that? No, I haven't. I didn't know fact I was ignoring it. All right, okay. Oh, we, we've used to mango oil as well, haven't we? <laughs> right. Let's come back. Um, right, ugly cam. Doopy doopy doop. There we go. So, Douglas has said number 22, 34, 98, 63, go down well. <laughs> yeah, so does 75. So does 69. I do like lemon chicken. So that's tonight's piece. Nice. Uh, it's a little bit, in, little bit in there that I'm not happy with, but I'll remount that and sound that out later before I send that off to Anita. And then, so Anita's husband can see. There we go. Some walnut platter. Thank you very much, Anita. Thank you very much, Andrew. Um, and to anyone else that has made a donation, it is greatly appreciated. Um, let's bring the boys back in. Thank you to the boys and to Dale um, for coming in. It's been a laugh this right. evening. I've had a good time. The, commun the community t-shirt that we were talking about is this one. Hang on. Let's, I can make Wayne big, can I? There you go. Yep. The design was by Kez from Spirit and Bear. Jamie, do you want to chuck a link in? Uh, yeah, I can do. Uh, so the, the the community t-shirt fund is is over now. So if you go and buy a shirt now, uh, it all goes into supporting Saturday morning cartoons, and uh, because uh, we 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 tend to ship out quite a lot on a or Jake tends to ship out quite a lot on a Tuesday, uh, so it all goes towards that. I've gone, to Jake's, I've gone to Jake's website. <laughs> you know what? Jake's I'm going you know to post that in there as well since I'm there. Rather than Douglas, wait, wait, Douglas Mungham has link. already ordered a, a community t shirt and he's waiting on delivery. I'm going to post, post Jake's website in there as though well if anyone wants any uh, silicon moulds or silicon or pen, bl uh, pen blanks and all that kind of stuff. So let me just get a, uh, a link to the uh, the store cool right on that note i right. still need to pack and i've got a plane to catch at six o'clock in the morning <laughs> but um thank you everyone for coming in um it's been good to be back have a laugh have a chat do a bit of turning um i think you'll agree we've made a fantastic amount for charity this evening um as as jamie and jake with their bit for connie um yeah until next week, when we will 100% promise start the uh, table lamp. I'm going <laughs> to battle into that other shit and get the blank out. Um, until then, I shall uh, see you all later. Bye for now. Night. <laughs>